With just six days before their opening match in the regional Africa Cup of Nations under-17 qualifiers, Cameroon are in danger of forfeiting. More than half of their original squad failed an age test ordered by FICA foot president Samuel Eto. During the week, results from a magnetic resonance imaging MRI screening showing that 21 players from the original 30-member squad are not of age to compete. Cameroon were further set back when 11 new members also failed the age test, leaving head coach Jean-Pierre Fiala to scratch his head for replacements. The question is, what do MRI screenings show to help doctors determine the age of athletes? Here to give us an explanation from the medical standpoint of standpoint is well-known sports physician, Dr. Adrian Lord. Dr. Lord, welcome to the Sports Max Zone and all the best for 2023. Um, your, your comment on this from a medical standpoint and how exactly does an MRI test show age? Yes, good evening to all and uh, same to you. Um, we hope you're looking forward for an interesting 2023. Yeah, MRI is a magnetic resonance imaging test and what FIFA has determined out of a study back then, back in 2006, and published in the British um, Journal of Sports Medicine, that the risk age, the age of your risk, at risk, really looking at your risk and looking at the joint here between the radius and the other bones, using a magnetic ref, um, resonance imaging, can determine what your age is. At least it can determine if you're over the age of 17 or not. Because it has been shown that once you're over the age of 17, or rather, if the bones are fused um, in the radius, then you are over the age of 17. As you may know, um, it's not the first time you've had over age players in competitions. Way back in um, 1988 in the Olympics, there was uh, the Nigerian team um, had some over age players. And it may be as a result of some players in Asia and Africa do not necessarily have their birth certificates uh, with them or, or birth certificates. And therefore, they, it might not be that they're, um, it is fraud, um, football fraud, but it may be out of ignorance. And you want to make sure that everybody is on the same level playing field. Yeah, Dr. Lord, can you comment very quickly on the precision aspect of these MRI testing because in the same way that when you have polls you will hear you know the point made that there is maybe a two percent error either way um, how exacting is this can you be 100 percent sure 100 percent of the times that the MRI testing will give an accurate reading well I mentioned nothing is a hundred percent what <laughs> what has been done in the study and uh, where they took 500 Teenagers um, from different countries, they were from um, different countries in different parts of the um, Atlantic and, and, and Pacific and in Africa. And they found that they found a 99% correlation with the real age and the bone age. So that is as good as 100% lands. Mm -hmm. um, so it is pretty accurate. And FIFA has decided uh, way back that they would use the risk age, the MRI of the risk and they use the, well, I'm showing the right, the, 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 it's normally the left wrist and you put it above your, your head and a scan is done and they look at the bones, the radius and see if that bone is fused. So it is a pretty accurate, pretty accurate um, test. Of course, there could be people who are stunted growth or people who may have used anabolic steroids or steroids for medical reasons that could have had earlier fusions or people who may have had an injury that may have other um, <clears throat> earlier fusions, but generally it is an accurate test. Yeah, and, and Doc, you have had a long history of being in sports medicine there in Barbados, um, and we reference FIFA, you know, instituting this MRI testing, but is this widely used with other sporting organizations, the IOC, uh, for instance, um, or is it just FIFA that has gone this route? FIFA, FIFA has a research and sports medicine grouping, and they have been very advanced in, in this. And, and yes, FIFA has been using it. Other sporting organizations have been very slow in using it, using this method. 
uh, uh, the IOC. I'm not aware that the IOC uses it. They still use the passport. So for under 17 competition, the IOC, once you are age, your passport shows that you are age 17 on the 1st of January of the year, then although you become um, 17 in the 6th of January, you can still play in that under 17 tournament. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it doesn't seem that it is as widely used as it probably could. Of course, some places wouldn't have access to the MRI scans that, that obviously Cameroon does, and, and the president, um, Mr. Ito, he made sure that um, he had it, he, he, all the players. And as you said, um, there were, uh, was that, 20, 21 of in, the 30? In, Initially, and then another 11. And then 11. Mm. So 32 players mm. have been found to be over age based on the bone age. All right, Doc, um, thanks for um, clarifying that for us because I know that many of our viewers didn't attach uh, an age test with an MRI test. So you've, yes. um, you've, you've given us some good information there. Thanks, Doc, and, and all the best. We'll be in touch. Thanks, Lance. Have yeah. a good evening. Yeah. Dr. Adrian Lohr there, George. A massive story there because we have heard overage situations before in sports competitions globally, but I, I don't think I've ever heard this the, the proliferation that we are getting out of this Cameroon story. Yeah, because there's been a taint against African teams winning FIFA youth competitions. Yes. Uh, the African teams are very strong in the FIFA youth competitions. And people often are, ask, why is it that the brilliant Ghanaian teams, Cameroon have been FIFA youth champions twice. Mm -hmm. uh, Africa has been very strong. Why is it that there's not a throughput of quality and performance at the senior level from yes. these teams? And people have been won, have, have been want to put an asterisk beside what African teams achieve at the lower level. And it is a stain. And so when Etu came, one of his promises mm -hmm. as he saw the high office at, 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 at Fickerfoot was to say, look, if I get in, I'll ensure that the players we send are genuinely uh, of the age designated mm -hmm. and I'll weed out those who are looking to cheat the system. And so this is a promise that he has delivered on. It's a, it's a, it was a huge promise and he's delivered on it significantly. I'm very happy for him. But I'm not sad that this is happening in Cameroon. Within the, it's funny, within Cameroon, within the, there, there's a section of the media that has been critical of the situation, saying that these are minors and you're exposing people to ridicule, even though you're not identifying people by name. But, I mean, if you invite people to a squad, that's yeah. a defined group. And that's if you right. say 11... Right. And the percentages are very high. So exactly. By, by, so people know who they the are. By the process of elimination. Right. Yeah. But when you, that's not a chart you can put at the feet of the Cameroon Authority, footballing yes. authorities, because they didn't name anybody. Yeah. And what they did didn't cause opprobrium to yeah. fall on those named. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, the general public is saying this is very good because for a long time, what our youngsters achieve in football, there's been a taint yes. against what they've yes. achieved because people are saying, it, it well... Takes, it takes some of the joy away. Yeah, the it, reason it, you've won is because you, yes. you have adults playing against children from other confederations yeah. and you're calling yourself youth champions. Yeah. Can you, can you comment, though, on the reference Dr. Lord just made that he thought that in many instances it's, it's not a deliberate act of, of cheating or a deliberate, um, deliberate intention to cheat, but because of birth certificate issues where some of the birth certificates aren't available and, and in some instances weren't prepared at the time of birth, that some of it is not, is not deliberate, it's just a victim of circumstance. He's 100% right. I was, yes. was going to make that point if he hadn't made it, yes. because that's true for so yes. many of these boys yes. from these parts of Africa who, especially a lot of these football, a lot of footballers over time, Lance, are born in refugee camps. Yes. And they're there, what we know, for five, seven years. And then somebody comes from one of the aid agencies and comes and says, register. And they say, okay, you look like you're three but stunted growth because of a lack of access yeah, to... Yeah. And, and, and I apologize for you laughing, not yeah, because... Proper, but, yeah, yeah, proper nutrition yeah, and so on. Yeah, right, so, so they are a victim of circumstances, but that still doesn't make it right that you register as such and you play against people from other confederations who are of the required age. You are older yes. and, uh, you know, you win, the, you, you win the competition and you call yourself youth under 17, okay. under 20, under 19 champion. Okay. But he's right, Dr. Lordis. Mm. So what about Mo Farah? Has he done an MRI uh, well, wrist test? Well, well, lads, let me, not let me, that he has an age issue you, from you, a standpoint of qualifying to you, compete, but you, I'm just, I'm just saying he went through that 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 path. It, 
So maybe he, he's not what he is listed as. It's a good question you ask. You remember the age issue with Samuel Eto? Yes. When he was at Chelsea and they called him old. Yes. And he scored and he walked to the, yeah, the yeah. corner flag and he went like this. That was for Jose Mourinho, there wasn't it? There you yeah. go. Okay. All right. Still to come on the Sports Max Zone, we'll discuss the investigation surrounding U.S. men's team head coach Greg Berhalter. After the 48-year-old admitted to kicking his wife when they were teenagers. We'll also have an NBA segment. The latest from La Liga and Interactive, which will include the Sportsmax class moments. And remember, weather permitting, Test Cricket is on Sportsmax starting at 6 o'clock this evening, 7 o'clock in the rest of the Caribbean. Fourth day of the rain-affected third test between Australia and South Africa in Sydney. And there's also T20 International Cricket on Saturday. India and Sri Lanka face off in the third T20 International. Uh, the match starts at 8.30, 9.30 in the rest of the Caribbean. Thank you for watching Sportsmax on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to click the notification bell to stay informed.